Oh, hi. Welcome back to writing. It's been a while. I'm really excited about the next thing coming up in our writing class because in the next few weeks, you're going to start turning one of your pieces of writing into a final draft or a book for our classroom library. And since other people are going to be reading this book, we want to make sure our writing is as clear, as interesting, and free from errors as possible. And before you pick your writing that you want to turn into our class book, we're going to listen how Alan Say develops a piece of writing into a book. What do you remember about Alan Say? We read this book and we also heard about his life and his trip back to Japan. What do you remember about that? Okay, so now I'm going to read about Alan Say and how he turns a piece of writing into a book. More about Alan Say. How do you begin a picture book? Usually, my books start with a very vague notion or idea. Vague means not really clear. A vague notion or idea. Then I begin to draw things that come into my mind. Eventually, I see a pattern within the pictures. It is this pattern that develops into a tentative plot. Tentative means could be, not so sure. My next step is to complete all my paintings for the book. After they are finished, I write the story. This may seem like the reverse of what happens to be the natural storytelling process, but for me, the plot of the story develops through the pictures. So he draws the pictures first and then comes up with the story. Where do you get your ideas? I often go for walks to look for ideas. Ideas are what I call found objects. I can see them with the naked eye or visualize them in my mind. Finding ideas is a process of feeding one's mind with seemingly unrelated images and information. Then these things spark a thought or a progression of thoughts. Oh, I like that. Reminds me of just going on a walk and just thinking about things. And you see a bird, and then you see a rock, and then you think about another time. Maybe you had a story about that. How do you work once you have a story in mind? In most cases, I work better with a deadline. Deadline means a time you have to do something, a time you have to be finished by. Once the images are in my mind, I like to work pretty much nonstop until the book is complete. Over the years, I've learned to trust this process because it works for me. What do you think makes a good story? A good story should alter you in some way. It should change your thinking, your feeling, the way you look at things. A story is rather like venturing through a maze. When you come out of it, you should feel slightly changed. How long does it take you to write and illustrate a book? I try to do one book a year. It's a 10 to 12 month marathon while I'm doing the book. It's very labor intensive, but I just love what I'm doing so much that although it's difficult, it makes me very happy. What did you just learn about Alan Say's writing process? Why does it take so long for him to write a book? Professional authors usually take a long time to take a piece of writing or a draft and turn it into a final product, a published book to be read by others. Authors usually start with an idea or a draft, which is just free writing. And after that, they rewrite, which means write again. They do research. They take some things out. They add some things in. They might clarify or make clear some information that might have been confusing. And they do this to make their writing as interesting and as clear as possible. This is a process called revision, revising. In the next two weeks, you're going to be revising your writing to turn into a clear, interesting, final published piece of writing. So today I want you to carefully reread all the drafts in your writing journal, and you're going to select one of them that you might want to revise and publish. I want you to choose a piece of writing that you can imagine making changes to and that will be fun for you to work on. It should be interesting to people who might want to read it. I'm a little out of breath because I just had to run around outside with Leo, my dog. But when you think about picking a piece to turn into your final draft or your published writing for everyone to read to share with other people, I want you to pick something that you could imagine making changes to. Most likely a story about something that happened to you or personal narrative. Kind of like Alan Say's writing. Try to avoid picking a published writing that's just a list or something that you already think is perfect because 
If it's already perfect, there's no need to rework it. We're gonna focus on reworking and editing and changing a piece of writing to make it even better version of itself. When you're thinking about changing your writing, ask yourself these questions. Does my writing make sense? What parts might you wanna check to make sure that it makes sense? What still needs to be added to your draft to make it a final piece? What else might readers want to know as they are reading your piece of writing? Read the last sentence of your piece. Does it feel like an ending? What more can you add to make it feel like an ending? Have fun.